Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Fester's Quest. Hopefully this will be a short video, but it will show the last actual secret in the game, as well as fill up our final items before we go take on the last, significantly easier than the last two boss, at least if you use your items. reason why you wouldn't, since they do replenish after each boss. Yay! However... Now, hopefully you see what I'm talking about by an infinite supply of these things being really, really annoying. I'll walk back here, hopefully reset some of that, and then just try to plow through. Get the key, don't need the key. Blow away the chain of easy frogs they put in my path there. Ignore that pile of power downs. Okay, we are near the last the last item in the game here. We have to do a little bit of walking to get there. Also, the last secret is in this area. That whip's gonna come in real handy real soon. Not yet, but soon. As in, it's probably the best thing to take on the next boss with. Kink, die. And there are a lot of enemies in this area, because you're getting really close to the end of the game, in case you couldn't tell by how close, how complete the clue picture was. I'm going to come back here in a second. Those of you that know the last secret will go, you just missed it. Yes, I know. First, I want to go get the nooses. noose. Those of you that saw the original show will know what they did with the noose. They summoned Lurch. Now why is Lurch handy in this game? One shot KO for every minion on the screen. Poof. Gone. Minions all gone. We have to come back this way, so I'm not going to go refill my uh, nooses just yet. But I'm going to use them as I walk back to the secret, because this is annoying. Poof. And now, you see that building down there? It's completely surrounded by bushes, and you can't just walk into it from back here. There's a little secret path. And right here, you can walk through the bushes. That's the only way to get into this little area. That's it. I don't want to deal with Munchy McMuncher there. But yeah, here, inside this building, is your final health upgrade. Also, funky theme music reprise. Is it a reprise that keep it exactly the same? I don't know. I always thought a reprise had to be, you know, somewhat altered. And yes, I'm burning through my nooses here. Because I wanted to show you that. If you take out the if you take out enemies that spawn other enemies and use a noose, or you take them out with a noose, what I meant to say there, it'll still spawn all the little things with it. So now we are refueled on nooses. Nieces. Whatever the plural of noose really is. I mean, the plural of moose isn't meese or mooses. Not moosen. Anything like that. Yeah, 
here. Try not to get bitten. Actually, oops. Oops. Oh well. Pad out this video a little bit because I need to go to the hot dog stand because I foolishly forgot to refill my health. I wasn't looking for whatever reason, and the idiot that I am did not refill my health because it's empty. Because it starts out empty. Of course it's empty, that's why I'm going to refill it. But, you know, it starts out empty. You get a free health upgrade, but no health actually in it. Go figure that one, huh? Oh well. It's only a 30-45 second sidetrack there. You're still firing the gun, even if you can't really see it, so you've got a small wall in front of you there that can't be penetrated that easy. And put the bulb up. So now let's go through the longest to date sewer section in the game. Easily the most annoying. Got a ton of little munching enemies there. Go this way. Oh, I took the wrong path. here and there's a gun power down that I do not want and another sewer Shouldn't be any more than token resistance on the way to the door in the form of a easy frog to kill. However, this maze is probably the most annoying one to date. Okay, let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Plenty of side paths to get distracted by. And voila, here we are. Okay, queue up invincibility potions, queue up whip. And away we go! Hopefully I won't die too horribly. It's about to be very poorly timed for me, I will say that. Hey, yep. You can just sit here with the invincibility potions and wail away on him with the whip. And you will finish him off before he before your invincibility potions run out. Yeah, there's your second to last boss in the game. So. Did not want to do that. 
I need that. So anyway, just one second, because I'm going to have to refill that. Uh, give me just a moment, folks. Okay, after backtracking, I no longer have wasted an invisibility potion probably not the most time-efficient thing I've ever done, but I would like to go into the UFO as fully geared up as possible, because that's where we're going next, the UFO. And just because I am who I am here... Yeah, this is a very short little section here. There's... Although it has those. And you can sit there and farm them if you really want to, because they are not that big a deal. At least not in that context. And no, I do not want to fight. I do not want to lose my whip. Tissue gave me the whip and I took all the time to power it up. So anyway, here we are. Fully powered up. And now we are in the UFO. So, good stopping spot as far as I'm concerned. When we come back, we plow through the UFO and into the alien menace. Take care, folks. See you later.